Hey, it's Joe from Cointelegraph. I'm here at Surfing Bitcoin with Prince Philip of Serbia on my left. Philip, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm excited to see how our sandcastle building goes on. First time I've built a sandcastle with a prince, actually. <laughs> First time, well, actually not the first time uh, recently. I've been building a lot of sand castles with my son. Yeah, you were telling me earlier about the texture of the sand. It's got to be a, a course, certain thickness. Yeah, I have to have a bit. A little bit of wet sand helps. Okay, yeah. interesting. Well, we'll get to that proof of work later. What, what for you is the difference between Bitcoin and crypto? The difference is that Bitcoin had, had an immaculate conception. Crypto has CEOs, has people we know, they have teams running it, they have um, snazzy marketing departments, they have, they have a huge pre-mine, they have little energy back um, securing it. So all these things don't really mean anything once you've had Bitcoin that's been discovered and destroys all, of, all, all cryptos in my, in, my, in my opinion. Destroys all cryptos? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I understand why crypto's happen in the world that we live in today with the fiat, uh, this fiat world that people want to make fiat, they want to make money and so they're going to use Bitcoin's technology, Bitcoin's uh, ideas and try to, uh, try to make them their, their own and try to, try to ride that, uh, that fad I guess. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I feel the passion for Bitcoin coming across oh, yeah. here. Has that energy rubbed off on um, any of your family? You, know, you mentioned your younger son earlier. Yeah. Well, my son, he's, uh, he's only four and a half years old, Stefan. But uh, he, I mean, he doesn't understand what Bitcoin actually means, but he knows it's money. Okay. Uh, he was here just earlier on looking, he looked at the bit, he, he recognized the Bitcoin logo and he was like, ah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. <laughs> and I have a really good story to tell where this was after I came back from my first ever conference, my first and only ever conference apart from this one was uh, coming back from Miami. And my son knew I was away for a few days. Uh, he picked up the, the fact that I was away talking about Bitcoin and I gave him a book about Bitcoin, a children's book about Bitcoin, by, uh, done by Shamari, really, really great, great couple that are doing a lot of education for youngsters. And so we speaking about Bitcoin, I, you know, he's trying, to get, he, I think trying to get the idea of what Bitcoin is, but not really getting an idea, but he understands that there's Bitcoin and, and his father likes to talk about Bitcoin. So one day he was, uh, I was working in my, in my uh, it's not really an office, but in the, in the room where I have my desk and stuff, and he was working on the side, packing his little suitcase, actually my carry-on, packing with all his prized possessions. Yeah. And <laughs> as, he, as soon as he packed it, he zips it up, pulls the handle out, and then walks toward the door with a lot of, conf with a lot of confidence and stops and looks at me and says, bye-bye, I'm off to Spain to talk about Bitcoin, and just disappears from the room. <laughs> I was crying from... From 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 uh, from happiness and proudness, but also just it was so cute. It was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> to talk. Uh, did he? Did he go to Spain and talk about Bitcoin? Uh, not yet. He will soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, that the kids get it so much, or seem to get it so much quicker than the many adults. So. But that's the most important thing is that the kids need to understand what Bitcoin's about. And I think the main thing is that the uh, is the history of money. This is something that we weren't taught in schools, mm -hmm. and isn't still taught in schools. And education is getting worse, as uh, as I can see it. Mm -hmm. And you know when we talk about wars, how they're financed, and we just talk about wars, why the, the purpose of the wars, according to uh, school textbooks, is is to to, to fight the uh, the glory and the, the of the nation and the ideologies and stuff like that. But actually, there's a lot more to it than that. Okay, is uh, this tying into perhaps your um, keynote speech tomorrow at uh, the? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, we're sat in front of the casino where the uh, the conference will take place. Um, is, is this why you're bullish on Bitcoin? Oh, uh, this is why I'm definitely bullish on Bitcoin, and many reasons. So that's uh, the topic of conversation. I mean, that's my talk tomorrow, why I'm bullish on Bitcoin. And there's a lot of things I'm bullish on Bitcoin. If From, you could condense it down into maybe like one or two key pointers, what, what would you say? What's like the, mo the biggest reason you're big bullish on Bitcoin? Biggest reason I'm bullish on Bitcoin is because the world is not in a good shape right now, and Bitcoin's going to fix that. Um, the other reason I'm bullish about Bitcoin, I'm just going to pull something else out, is that, well, the reason why the world is in such, is such a terrible shape is because of the, because the money. People think, yeah, money corrupts, but then they actually know money is corrupted itself, and that needs to be changed. Nice line. I like that yeah. a lot. Is there, is there anything else you'd like to share before we melt in the, in the beer it's sun? <laughs> well, I know we have to stay out here, get a bit of more proof of tan. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. Uh, what else I'd like to share? Um, 
No, there's the other reason why I'm bullish about Bitcoin is uh, is speaking to people, average people who are not who are no coiners. They understand that something's wrong with the world, but they can't quite put their finger yet on it. Yeah. So, and this is the beautiful thing about Bitcoin is that the reason why most of the world has gone to gone to the uh, gone to the shitters is because of the money. And once you once people understand, once they get educated then, uh, about the history of money, and they realize that Bitcoin is a, is a solution to that, now they can put that understanding of what not understanding that knowledge of knowing that something's wrong with the world with not with with something like Bitcoin. Yeah. And there you go. There, there's there's hope. There's a connection there, and people will then have something to, to, to hope towards, to fight towards, and to and to make this world a better place. Because I think that's at the end of the day, that's what really. The, well, I'm not going to get all philosophical. I mean. The, Hopefully, the people's meaning of life is, should be that we should leave the world in a better place than we than we than we first than we first arrived in it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so, unfortunately, we are still in a bear market, but bear markets are famously for building. Exactly. Um, are you ready to you know build and try and reveal this sandcastle? Oh uh, yeah. There we yeah. go. Proof. Okay. I've got a bit of topping up here to do on mine. <laughs> here we go. And is there I, any like? Uh, are you like naturally better at this because you're royalty? Is this how it works? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> there, are there like some secret uh, tricks here that I need to need to be aware of? Uh, yeah, you need to solid have foundation. You to have, yeah, you need to have a solid foundation okay. and, uh, and a whole army of people to help you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, the army. That's what I was yeah, lacking exactly. in my childhood. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Uh. <laughs> Give it a tap. Make sure yeah. it. Twenty-one million. There we go. Oh wow! The big reveal. Oh, no, very good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yours is substantially better. That yeah, is, that is right. a sort of castle that you know. That on Airbnb nowadays would go for <laughs> ten grand a night. This exactly. is uh, <laughs> someone you'd have to be paid to go here. There you go. Bitcoin fixes real estate. <laughs> fixes castles. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Philip. It's lovely uh, it to chat. And um, best chat. of luck with the keynote tomorrow. Thanks so much, Joe. Okay, so it goes yeah, anyway. Yeah.